Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys. And we are at a storage facility, but I'm a little nervous. Look how high we are. We bought this unit online, and I did not realize how high this freaking storage unit was. It's all the way up here, third level up. But anyway, we paid $60 for this unit, and without further ado, let's get digging. Alright guys, so we're gonna go through this the best as possible. First things first, somebody sent me gloves in the P.O. box, like really expensive gloves. So you know what? I feel bad not wearing them, but they didn't leave any note, they didn't leave any name, they didn't leave any address. They put their return address in our P.O. box. So, we got some mystery gloves, but you know what? Everyone's been bothering me about it like crazy, so let's wear them. Let's start going through it. What's in the purse? This is gonna be kind of hard to do. It really is. I guess it's, I would, Honestly, probably wouldn't have been on this if I knew where it was because this is gonna be like a pain like crazy to record But this is just a photo album with pictures in it So that we'll take back up there before we leave today We actually won two units today, but we'll probably only get a chance to do one up here. These are all pictures as well This whole purse might be full of nothing but pictures. So Looks like it literally just tons and tons of pictures in here So we'll probably keep the purse, but we'll make sure we take the pictures back definitely it depends on the purse. What kind of purse is it? Lacombe? Never heard of that. L-A-N-C-O-M-E brand purse. Never heard of that one yet. But, like I said, we'll go through it in more detail to make sure we don't give anything valuable. Oh, this is the reason I wanted to bid on it right here. There's two laptops right here. A really old Dell one. These look like the ones that used to be in high school computer labs. It's running a Core 2 and Windows XP. So, not the most up-to-date computer, but still a laptop. Even the old ones like this, you still get twenty dollars if they don't work. If it works, probably still get thirty to forty. It's not like overly expensive. But there wasn't one. There was two laptops in here. And this looks just like the one I used to have when I was in high school. This one is running Windows Seven actually, and it has an i3. I mean, a step above that is still crappy today's standards, but that could be a decent laptop if it works. We yet to come across like a good working laptop. We've had some newer ones, but they have issues like a cracked screen or something like that. So let's hope this one has two good computers. And by the way, I'm just gonna stack these over here. This is just a box full of painting supplies. I don't wanna move it. It's just paint, paint brush it, things like that, roller. So we're gonna put the computers over here. We're just gonna get everything out of here after we're done recording because this is too much right now. This is complicated. You can't tell. <laughs> Look at this though. There we go. What is that? That looked like a breast implant at first. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Disinfect it. All right. I always use that if that's what it is. This whole tote looks like a bathroom tote. It's got rubber gloves, tissues, sponges, lotion, paper towels. Just you know. That's all it's in there. I see toothpaste, more Kleenex, nothing of value, so. Tote. <laughs> Let's get it back there. Check out this bag. Actually, let's go to the black bag first. This is so complicated to record. This looks like it's gonna be Christmas decorations, maybe? We'll check that in a second, but we see things like these that go on the table. These are from the Dollar Tree. I think we, we got these before for something. They're only a buck, but still, cool little decoration. It's almost Christmas, maybe we can use them. What else do they have in here? Yeah, Tablecloth. Party stuff. Yeah, it's like somebody had planned a party, but they didn't actually get to go through with it. So yeah, like, that's all that's in here. I mean, there's those. There's little cups. There's like kids games, jumping frogs, and more party decorations. That's all that's in there. So this bag looks like medical stuff. I see medical tape for sure. There's tape and there's like, there might be more decorations of some kind, I'm not sure. Maybe. Let's put that over here, the medical supplies for now. Stay, don't you start sliding. Stay, or do this tell you to stay. All right, let's go to this one. Okay, this one's just a whole bunch of random who knows what. These are the kind of bags I like. What is that? Did I just break something? More paint rollers or the actual rolling part of it. We'll put it over there. 
Oops. I don't even know what that is. I buy one, get one McDonald's coupon. Yes! Probably expired how long ago? Let's see, let's see. 2016. A little past date. There's some gift cards in here, it looks like, though. Starbucks and some other places. Big Apple, Coaster, and Arcade. That's definitely going to be somewhere in New York. Let's see, some wires. I'll set this gift card aside because Starbucks is at least somewhere. I don't go there, but I can at least give it to somebody if there's something on it. Are these more photo albums? Oops. Yeah, this is somebody's baby album, so. A lot of pictures in this unit so far. Oops. What else do we got going on in here? Ugh. A broken picture. And this is like, it looks like something you find in a barber shop almost. Like different type of eyelashes and things like that. Uh, we got a jacket, it looks like. Is it a jacket? It's weatherproof. What is it? It's like overalls or something? Yeah, it looks like overalls. The brand is weatherproof, so. Weatherproof overalls. Weatherproof overall. I just slaughtered that. Something I'll have to look up again because I'm not too sure. What is this? It's not coming out everywhere. This is rough, guys. This is rough. What the heck is that say? Burkino? Burkino or something? That. A whole bunch of cards. Which, I mean, they won't let you. A lot of places won't even take these back as returns because they're like, they're just cards. They really only want you to return pictures and really sentimental things. But to me, at least, cards are somewhat sentimental, especially like, I keep ones from family members that have passed away I've had for years. I mean, that can be sentimental. So we'll try to return them. We'll see what we get. Another purse. This one is Expressions NYC. Doesn't look like it's in the greatest of condition. Ah, oh, it's full of freaking confetti. Go. <laughs> I hate confetti. Oh, some really beat up Nike Air. Oh, are they supposed to look like this? I don't know. But look on the inside, they're missing the soles. They have no lace and they're definitely not in the greatest shape, but maybe we can put some laces in them. I can't tell if they're like designed like this or they're just cracked up really bad. Well, I'll figure that out when we get home, I guess. Um, a doorknob. This is what we do this for, right here, doorknob. That's what it's all about in here. Oh! Baby foams, if we can find the other ones, these are the copper ones too. Last time we sold the adult pair for like $120 within a week of finding them. So if we can find the other one of these, that'll pay for the unit probably. It looks like kid size though, so it might be worth significantly less. I'm not sure on that. Come on, where are those foams? Where's that other foam? There's the other Nike. Heavy though, why does it feel so heavy? There's something hidden in here? No, but it just, I don't know, it's like abnormally heavy for a shoe. And this one doesn't feel like that. Like for some reason, this one feels significantly heavier than this one. But it looks the same. There's no sole or anything in it, but that is strange. That is very strange. I almost want to like rip it apart. I feel like there's something hidden in here I'm not seeing. Well, not that I see. Oh, there it is. Ugh. I mean, boom. So they are missing shoelaces, but hey, look. So the shoelaces might actually end up being in the bag for the foams too. But a little pair of bronze foams right there. And I bet you that's worth at least 50 or $60. Maybe more, I'm not sure on kid sizes. I never came across them in kids yet. Hey, even there's the soles to the Nikes right there. So are the foams missing the soles? They are, so they might be in the bag as well. Empty bag. Oop. Some little purses and wallets. This is, the brand is Lu Luela. It says for, for Target. I hope that means it doesn't come from Target. It's cheap, but maybe. We got this one. This one feels like it has a little bit more weight to it, though. Oops. Amtrak receipt. Big Buddha brand. But there's nothing in it that I see right now, unfortunately. And like always, I haven't said it this time, but we'll go through this stuff in more detail when we get it home. Wow, those are some high, high heels. We'll just see what this brand is. Jessica Simpson, she has her own brand of shoes. That's what it looks like it says to me, doesn't it? Yeah. I didn't even know she had her own brand of shoes. 
I don't know if they're expensive though. Like literally, as far as brands, I just learn as I find. I don't know any of this stuff. If I found them and sold them a couple times, I might know, but I'm still learning a lot. This one says, call it spring. It's another high heel though. Is that the other Jessica one? Yeah. So we got a pair of those. Hopefully those have some value to it. If always, if yeah, as always, if you know, let me know in the comments for sure. What do we have in this little bag here? From a salon, so probably like, yeah, like 5% off and some mascara. Nothing of any real value. Other than that, what's in this little gift bag? More salon stuff. Other than that, guys, doesn't look like much of anything else. So, I'm gonna try to scoot around and keep going through stuff. This is getting hard. <laughs> scoot this over and went through that. What is up here? Let's see this. Ooh. I didn't even see this chest. Look at this chest up here. That just made things interesting, but looks like a really old doll here, but the plastic is coming off terribly. Look at this. I mean, it's barely even attached, so I know that it would definitely hurt the value a lot, but these are some of those things also that I mean, I don't personally know value of, but I know some of these porcelain dolls are worth a ridiculous amount and some of them are dirt cheap, so it's gonna be something about to look up, but because of the plastic, I'm probably gonna go with the cheap side. Let's see what's in here. Oh good, I was like, please don't be locked. What's in the chest? Another doll. A really creepy looking doll. Huh, look at that. That is weird. I don't see any markings anywhere on her. Definitely, no, it doesn't even feel, it feels more plastic than porcelain. Hmm. There's some individual drawers over here too. They're empty. Empty. And empty. So nothing in here but the doll. That's, that's strange. Maybe she has some value. If someone recognizes this, let me know in the comments. I don't see any markings on the feet, on the back of the dress, the head, or anything. So, huh. It says Pleasant Company on it, on the, on the chest. I don't know if that's the doll or they're just storing the doll in the chest or chest combs with the doll. So many unanswered questions right now. I wonder if you hear the helicopter on the microphone right now. I feel like it's so close to me. All right, now let's see what we can do. Let's go through the totes, I guess. There's a person here as well. A big one. Looks like it's only full of bag or um, books though. There's a few cases in here. This is all a couple of DVDs. Fat Albert. Comedians and some other stuff. Uh, let's see. Mostly books from what I see. And the purse. Does it have a brand on it somewhere? Not that I see, but it doesn't look expensive and it's really dirty too, so it probably doesn't have much value to it. What else is in here? A box. What is this? This looks like the back of a chair, doesn't it? Weird. Other than that, we have a mat. And a bunch of, a bunch of Tupperware, so nothing too interesting. Right. This is getting interesting. <laughs> I feel stuck, guys. I'm getting claustrophobic. Oh! This is all shoes, it looks like. Check that out. What is this? Good. Made of bottle caps. That's, cool. That's pretty creative. But it looks like a lot of dress shoes. I'm not seeing any like good shoes as far as I know. I mean, these could be valuable, obviously, but I know the value more so regular shoes instead of dress shoes. This looks like Tim's, don't they? Got their logo? It's hard to see in here. I don't have much light. So that might be a pair of some type of Tim's. There's also more purses down here, or dress clothes maybe. Yeah, a lot of dress clothes in here. There's also... This is getting really complex, guys. We're almost done now. We'll get it out, and we'll do a recap when we get home. But I also found this little wallet in here. That's what I wanted to look at. Looks to be empty. There's another front pocket. 
This is a Fendi brand, F-E-N-D-I. But from what I can see, it also looks empty. We'll go through it in more detail when we get home. I'm literally balancing this on my shoulder right now, so I can't move. <laughs> Last thing we got though is this bag here. But it does have a decent amount of weight to it, so let's see what we got. What? Then you're closing it that way. <laughs> can't see. Well, take it from me, guys. It's literally nothing but towels. I didn't do that. <laughs> it's nothing but towels. So, we might have some value in clothes, we might not. We're gonna have to somehow get this stuff out of here, get it to the car, and then when we get home, we'll do a recap and let you know what we got. So, see you then. All right, guys, so let's do a recap of this video because there was a lot of sweet stuff in here. So, what I'm not gonna show you guys is because it would take just way too long was a bunch a huge pile of different clothes and purses nothing that was like overly priced like most of it was between five and twenty dollar pieces but we probably got about six or seven pair of dress shoes that'll go up on Poshmark for probably five to twenty bucks a piece on those we also got about five purses that'll also go on Poshmark for about the same thing five to twenty bucks or so a piece but that's about it. There's also a Ralph Lauren um, brand new shirt on there that had a $45 price tag on it. So that's the extent of most of the clothes, but I'll show you another cool things we did find. There was another pair of Nikes in there that are practically brand new looking, minus again, the shoelaces are gone. I don't know why I took all the shoelaces, but we do have a few pairs of shoelaces that were in the bag. So we'll put them on there and see what we got. But if you saw the foam posits, you saw the other Nikes, these were also in there. Those aren't foams. I don't know, are they? Look on the back of them. No. No, all right. Aren't the foam technically um, Laurent's? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think they have a cab <laughs> sign on them. That's hilarious. That's it. That, but this is one little thing that was definitely hidden in there I did not see. It looks like a Louis Vuitton wallet. Now, I'm not really 100% sure if this is real or fake or not, so maybe somebody will point me in the right direction. Last time we had them, everyone's like, yeah, it looks real, looks real, and it ended up being fake, so I don't really know. But here's the inside of it. If anyone would be able to tell, obviously Louis Vuitton wallets, Louis Vuitton anything is way, way, way high. I mean, these new, I've seen them online for like six, seven hundred dollars. So used, if it's real, it'll probably also be worth a good amount, but it does have some damage, as you can see right here on the buckle. It's pretty banged up. The corners are pretty banged up, which kind of leads me to think it's probably not real, because a lot of people told me if it's a real Louis, whatever, it'll last forever, and it probably will be, won't take that kind of damage. So. It might end up being fake, but even the fakes do sell for a decent amount. Obviously, nowhere near like an authentic one, but something like this would probably still fetch 20 to 40 bucks, even if it's a fake one. If it was real, I guarantee even used, it'd be like 100 to 250. But the biggest thing in this whole freaking thing right now, I also forgot to mention the laptops are charging, but we didn't have enough time to actually see if they cut on or not. But they do light up, so hopefully they do work. I'll let you know in the next video. But the biggest thing was this doll thing. So I looked up just this crate this crate alone is selling on ebay for a hundred dollars plus mostly around 150 obviously this one has some damage on it i don't know what that is i don't want to touch it because it could be something weird but that's on it but the crate is worth 150 dollars so this is why i want to show this to you guys because i really need assistance on this if anyone's familiar because dolls is definitely not my field of expertise but we have the box here that like i said is selling for 150 and then the doll inside all these dolls are selling for like the biggest range. I just don't know. So if anyone's familiar, let me know. Oops. Let me open it up for you really quick, put the drawers back in. But the, the inside of this stuff is complete. It's in the dolls. Some of these, the lowest I see this brand of doll selling for was like 50 to $60. But some of this brand, I mean, just the doll without a box, were selling for hundreds of dollars. I mean, like three, four hundred dollars. So, again, I said this in the unit, but again, if anyone has any idea, please let me know. And I guess determining a value on this, or that they know a value, anything like that, because I just have no idea. Like I said, I picked it up, it doesn't look like a creepy doll to me, but apparently they're extremely valuable, and it's an old brand. So, I don't know. What was it called again? Something pleasant. It's on the front, of course. Can you see it on the camera? Yeah, pleasant Company. Yeah, Pleasant Company. It's kind of sideways. But apparently these are the boxes these dolls used to come in a while back. I've just been trying to look at this stuff up myself recently, and this blew my mind. This could be, like I said, a four to $500 find if this doll is a rare one. I just don't know how to tell. They don't have any markings anywhere. I don't see any markings on the inside, on the head, the feet. I don't know how to tell which one it is. I don't know if they have specific names that are worth more. So. If anyone's familiar with these, please let me know, guys, because that could be a huge profit right there. But even if the doll in back, or 
box aren't worth too, too much. We still did fairly good on the unit. I'm definitely still happy we got it because even though it was way up in the air, it was kind of scary. But this is the big thing to me. This could make it a huge profit. And the other stuff would mean, with just the other thing, it'll still make a couple hundred bucks off the unit, which isn't bad. But that could be, like I said, four or five hundred dollars. So if you have any information, please let me know in the comments. But that is going to be it. So thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget that tomorrow we're going to have another storage unit coming up. Hopefully we'll even win more than that. There's a couple more that go off in DC. So fingers crossed we win more than the other one. We have like three to five this week. That's what we're hoping for. But the minimum, we at least have one more. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for all awesome treasure hunting videos every single day of the week. And if you want to follow us on our social media links to be on screen, just click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.